Woodridge Lumber actually began in 1974, which is many years ago, uh, on this piece of land here in Albany. And the mill got started um, because we wanted to build a log home of our own. And um, worked with the farmer down the road that was doing harvesting up behind the mill here. And we said, well, we will help you all winter get the logs out and instead of payment, let's save out some nine and 10 inch diameter logs for our log home. Uh, we had been living in a mobile home and thought the, the dream home was a log home. So when we uh, got the logs all together and spring came, we had the pile of logs and the light bulb went off. Wouldn't it be fun to saw our own logs? So that was probably a dangerous question because uh, after we thought about it and found a used sawmill over in Glover, not too far from here, a bell saw on a hay wagon with a tarp over it and it was a bargain for $500. So that was a big purchase and got it home, uh, took it to the farmer's uh, yard down below, and it needed uh, a tractor to run, run the blade, and hooked the tractor up, the PTO, and we found out that the good buy of $500 was uh, maybe not quite such a good buy as we thought because they were missing parts. And not having money at our disposal to buy these parts, we did uh, look at that log pile and actually sold the logs that originally were going into the home for parts and had a sawmill that was workable and that was in 1974 and set up on Route 14 a little bit uh, below where we are sitting now and uh, used tin poles and this bell saw with a neighbor's tractor and uh, in 1974 a lot of railroad beds were being replaced and uh, a mill in Hardwick could not saw the hardwood railroad ties fast enough. So we did some custom sawing of hardwood, the six by eights and seven by nines for him. So that actually started our sawmill career. We started out with the hardwood railroad ties, operated down in the, the mill yard, we call it, down below for a couple years and then moved up to the site where we are now and had another uh, mill building. And we switched to softwood and pine and a little bit of cedar. And what we noticed was that although the softwood and pine were readily available in log form, they were more of a commodity item. The softwood logs often uh, went up through Route 14 into Canada, were processed and sent back to the U.S. and sold for less than what we could process that same log from our hillside. So we knew that this was not a long-term uh, profitable venture. Pine was a good commodity item, but the cedar was a little unique in the fact that it grew locally and we felt that being involved in a local product, a specialty product, a natural product, very decay resistant, bug resistant, very beautiful, that it was a specialty area that would bode well for us. So in 1985, we switched strictly to cedar. Goodridge Lumber currently has eight full-time employees and my sister who works two days a week in the office. We have changed mills a couple different times, the actual sawmill that we mill the logs on. Um, we have a chase hydraulic carriage and an edger, a sash saw from Sweden that is thin kerf blades, so we're saving as much wood as possible when we're cutting. So we, we have our employees, we buy our raw material from over a hundred different landowners uh, loggers and truckers on a yearly basis. Our vendor list is 300 plus, but there are usually 100 folks that are doing uh, harvesting. And we are unique in the sense that um, we get our material from a 75 mile radius, which is 
a, a very local area. And the cedar generally grows in swampy areas. So the challenge is uh, Mother Nature needs to give us some good cold weather in the winter. 80% of our product that we year, use yearly, 80% is brought in during the winter months from December until mud time. of the Goodridge Lumber Corporation are myself and my three sons, Doug, Mark, and Brian. They all play very important roles. We uh, have lots of different skills that are used in our business here. Doug, my oldest son, does the sawing. Uh, Mark tends to planing operations and maintenance. And Brian is responsible for the yard, unloading the trucks, stacking the logs, uh, delivering, and also where we all work in sales. I will say that I feel very fortunate and blessed to be working in a business using a natural resource with my sons who uh, are also my business partners. And that's an opportunity that not everyone has, so I, I feel very fortunate.